Now summarizing it in the next slide is that sensible heat you have some temperature change but you do not have any phase change. In latent heat you do not have any temperature change but you have a certain amount of or you have a certain phase change. Now mathematically putting it sensible heat can be given as mc delta t and latent heat can be given as ml okay where c is the specific heat capacity of the substance okay and l is the specific latent heat the units for specific heat capacity is kilojoule per kg kelvin and the uh, units for specific latent heat would be kilojoule per kg okay uh, some important values for you to remember is that specific heat capacity for water is 4.2 kilojoule per kg kelvin and latent heat capacity of ice is 335 kilojoule per kg so you need to remember these two values these values will be used very often